Well, the president is in Pensacola as we speak. He's about to get a briefing on Florida's efforts to deal with that heavy oil slick lurking just offshore, Chuck. Earlier, I spoke to Florida Senator George Lemieux and Congressman Jeff Miller, who represents Pensacola, and I asked him about their message for the president today, and it's one word, skimmers. The number one message is, let's get the skimmers here. We've got 32 skimmers off the coast of Florida. Why don't we have 320 or more? Uh, this is the number one thing now. Stop the oil from leaking, but then prevent it from coming on shore. We need to do a better job. Where Admiral are these skimmers? Where are they supposed to be getting? Admiral Allen tells us there's 2,000 in the United States. There's skimmers from around the world. Foreign governments and companies have offered to send skimmers here. Why those skimmers aren't coming here? Why every skimmer in the world isn't steaming towards the Gulf of Mexico makes no sense. Jeff Miller and I have been asking for this for weeks. We're going to ask the president directly today. Congressman, oh, your concern about the oil, when is it? When are you expecting it to hit? What have you been told when it's going to actually start hitting your? You represent this congressional district. When is it going to hit the shores? Well, the information that we're getting now is probably by mid-morning tomorrow morning some of the heavier stuff that's out there in, the, in that first plume that everybody's been talking about. I mean, we've been getting waves, uh, you know, for the last several days, but I think, you know, the bigger, thicker stuff is probably going to be on shore by tomorrow. Now, BP executives are coming on Capitol Hill tomorrow, so a lot of you guys are going to have a chance uh, asking them some specific questions. From the president tonight, we're going to hear hints about a claims fund. Right. How are you expecting, you know, how big of a number are you expecting BP to fund this claims fund when it, it gets announced, it looks like, in the next 48 hours? Well, it needs to be a big number. Jeff and I started asking for this in May. I sent a letter to BP on May 11th saying, set up a fund. Then I said, put a billion dollars in it, make it an evergreen fund, that when the money got drawn down, more money would have to be put in so that the states and the local governments could have funds to pay these claims and put the booming out and do all the other things. That number's probably going to be a lot bigger now. You're hearing anything from 10 to 20 billion. But how do you, what do you do, Congressman, to sort of walk this line of, you know, BP is going to say, hey, we don't want this to be a, a never-ending uh, amount of money that we want to put in at the same time. It could be three or four years before we find out some of the impact, for instance, on health issues. Well, they may not want it to be a never-ending fund, but yeah. that's probably what it's going to end up being. They need to understand uh, that this is not going to be over with in the next couple of years. In fact, we do have environmental issues, economical issues, and then, as you said, health issues that we'll be tracking for years to come. What's fair? We're here at the Fish House. Okay, this is a, 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 a there's an argument that some uh, restaurateurs may make. Hey, we're being impacted by this oil spill because fewer people are coming down to the Gulf Coast. What's What in your mind is fair in going to BP and saying, hey, we've been impacted, write us a check? Well, if you can show that last year at this time you had people renting your condo or in your hotel or coming to your restaurant and this year you're down this certain percentage, I think that's fair. That's a loss year over year. This economy was just beginning to recover. And this economy has had a tough time. Northwest Florida had Ivan in 2004, then we had the recession, and now we get this third body blow in this oil spill. Things were just starting to get better. BP is going to have to make these people whole. Uh, the New York Times did an interesting story about, and it was sort of a a argument between Louisiana officials and Florida officials, where Florida officials were sitting there saying, you know what, we have pushed, pushed back on this idea of drilling on the Gulf Coast. You guys didn't yet. You, we're getting impacted by it. it is sort of is your views on oil drilling? Where are you on your views on oil drilling? You know, I think the thing that we've always fought for is to make sure that anything that's done anywhere in the Gulf of Mexico is safe, that it protects not only the environment but also the military mission. We have a huge right. military base that's out in you know that goes out of the ranges right. into the Gulf of Mexico. But you know, our our position is now there will be no more drilling out there in the Gulf of Mexico. That's your position, and are you? Are the, well, are you my position is is that we're going to have to continue to do drilling in this country in the short to midterm. There's 4,000 rigs around the country. I I don't want to see any new rigs permitted okay. anywhere until I know what happened here and make sure it never happens again. All right. Senator Lemieux, Congressman Miller, we know you've got to uh, join the president now on Pensacola Beach. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having us, Chuck.